and yes, it has been a while since we've done a third topic. Uh, sorry, people, but life got in the way for some of us. <laughs> so, people, by voted by you guys on the uh, trilogy of, like, uh, third topics. Uh, yes, YouTubers versus YouTubers. A concept that, unsurprisingly, has been a thing. Like, Death Battle has been a house for, like, so many fictional medias. Sometimes realistic media? Question mark, depending on the people. But, yes. Despite Death Battle's history of including so many, like, cultures. Never YouTubers versus YouTubers, which... I'll be honest, I'm quite surprised by. Yeah, I mean, there is one popular request in that regard. There is a, quite a lot of popular ones. So, before we actually take get into like the idea of this and do we want this that's the big question like do we want youtubers versus youtubers and i'll answer that but let's talk about certain match i have two but kind of a third one but that's kind of to do with us uh so i'm just going to talk about it now uh people have suggested lads versus bros <laughs> um unofficial like reddit forms I not, need to see that. Not Reddit for mostly in our comments and bros comments. Right. And uh, and to be fair, bro has actually done some pretty cool fan art of our characters, including um during one of our big crossover for this year. He did do that really cool image of like our avatars, like it's almost like a Smash Bros style poster, which I do kind of like. He's making my character seem much more badass than uh, he actually is. And plus, Sea Dog's trailer was also had a trailer of the lads and bros. It was like his 50th trailer special. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't see uh, yeah I don't see us ever being recommended by uh, <laughs> the versus community. Nah. Like like I'm gonna put it on screen for people like this is how this is how the fandom represents my avatar. This is actually how my avatar is. Yes, I paid money for that, people. And I it was money well spent. It's his current Discord icon. <laughs> now, yeah, I won't dive too much on this because it's just a funny idea. Like, Would I love to see someone actually do a sprat animation of this? Oh, hell yeah. We would even react to that. All, all three of... No, all six of us would have to react to that together. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd be more inclined for a rap battle. Just everything that will be included. <laughs> I'm not fucking rapping, mate. Shut up. No, 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 not us, but like someone else, like just doing the lyrics. Oh, just. Epic rap battles history! Bro Boss Cast versus Lads! <laughs> oh, God. Lads versus uh, Epic History Rap Battle, uh, Mr. Beast. Was that Epic Rap Battles of History or was that another it channel? It was a parody. It was a parody, right. It was another channel. Because I was going to say, yeah. I haven't watched them in a long time. But if they actually did do that, and that's who they got to represent Mr. Beast, just oof. <laughs> Is that how much you still think Epic Rap Battles of History? They're filming, apparently. Oh, cool. Uh, maybe I'll watch them in the future. <laughs> I wonder. I actually kind of wonder if that's considered a versus a show. <laughs> uh, but two YouTubers that, or two YouTuber verse episodes that I want to bring up. And this one's an oldie, people. <laughs> so, um... So, how old is this debate? It's when Death Battle thumbnails used to look like this. Yeah, that that's how old this sort of episode is. <laughs> and that is PewDiePie versus Tobuscus. Oh... Not what I, I was thinking of, that. but... Yeah, there is... That old school. Yeah, that one, there is another one which I'm certain one of you guys is going to bring up because... It is, but I had to ask: Is one of you guys going to bring up a certain critic for your? Verse? That was that was mine, yeah. Okay, well, I had I had a different one from both of those, oddly enough, as right. it's a more modern day one. But go on. Yeah. So this is a popular. Well, I'm trying to look up some thumbnails of it. I think given these two, like Tabuskas and PewDiePie. Okay, Tabuskas, I've heard has fallen off, like. There was that drama. It got resolved, but apparently he's made some very questionable statements on Twitter. So, not many people really watch or like Tobuscus anymore. PewDiePie, he had that bridge incident. 
What a fucking no! Which I'm not gonna say. <laughs> uh, but it's also the fact he's kind of semi-retired from YouTube. Like he still puts out content, but he's not as frequent. And hell, he's not really number one most subscribed at the moment. Uh, he got overtaken by T series, but I don't. I there's so many things that have gone about that YouTube channel, quote unquote. That I don't think they can be liable. Uh, but Mr. Beast has overtaken them. Smosh is potentially going to overtake PewDiePie, depending on if their content still keeps. Because Smosh has actually made a crazy comeback, but that was actually another rival between those two, like Smosh versus PewDiePie. To the point they even collabed. But yeah, Tobuscus versus PewDiePie. Yeah. That was a that was one I was seeing so much. Not in terms of just death battle, just people debating these two, actually bringing in feats from like. Uh, Brabus uh, Tobuscus. It's weird talking about Brabuscus or Tobuscus. <laughs> um, <laughs> there was a Tobuscus animated series and a video game. Uh, I don't think PewDiePie had a video game, but he had some animated skits that gave him like feats and typical versus fashion. People did maps. <laughs> um, but yeah, like just looking into that, when I I remember seeing that talked about so much, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I would have loved to have seen this episode. Like, even back then. Because these two are very, very different YouTubers. Because Tobuscus try to aim his content more towards, like, kids. Like, it's very apparent. Like, if you look at some of his classic videos, like, Minecraft, Happy Wheels. Well, <laughs> whatever your opinion on Happy Wheels is, then. <laughs> or, as some people like to call it, Happy Wheels! Shut up, mate! <laughs> kind of ironic, someone Billy's telling someone to shut up. That's that's weird. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but funny enough, uh, you mentioned the whole rap battles, uh, Sean. There was a channel that did do a parody of Tobuscus vs PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah. It was another channel. I think video game rap battles of history? Something like that? Hang on. I was actually looking it up because I remember they actually... Crossed over like a few times himself, but yeah, it, uh, by Cam Steady. Yeah, so uh, God, the, how old was the channel name changed? Yeah, you know, answer your question. Yeah, if, are you actually on the YouTube channel right uh, now? It's this video, right? Yeah, like I actually want to see. Like, don't even tell. I want to. I want my reaction to this when I see. Two like, minutes and twenty six seconds. Ten, two thousand and thirteen. Christ. That's nearly 10 huh. years old. Oh, no, yeah, it is actually 10 years old now. Jesus Christ. Wow, about as old as the original Goku v Superman. That, I feel old looking at that. <laughs> I'm old. But, but yeah, yeah, there this was, was a, a rivalry between them. There, there was a rivalry, but even though they've collabed, I never felt a rivalry between them. In fact, I remember when they were both... because. Big shock when Happy Wheels first came out, everyone was playing it, including YouTubers. So understandably, there was a trend, they jumped on that. That's where the rivalry came into it. And it got to a point PewDiePie had to do a little comedy skit on acknowledging this and just making fun of it. But aside that, he still don't really never really collabed a lot back then. I think in total they did like two videos together. Yeah, but it's just like for this kind of deal, they, like if this was an episode idea, it'd be really difficult to do because yeah, that's the channel names, but that's still they refer to themselves as these channel names. Yeah, the other thing is as well, compared to like other YouTubers, we're probably going to bring up, they don't do anything that impressive to warrant a death battle, but. Hell, I know I made a joke about it, but bros versus lads, we've all done little funny edits that you could give us feats. Like, I mean, one of mine has me with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, so... Mm. But if Tobuscus and PewDiePie just never really did anything feat-wise, unless you count like certain animations. But even then, like the Tobuscus animated series... He was just basically Tobuscus, just they went on random adventures, at one point there was a zombie apocalypse, and they went back in time. Yeah, early YouTube was weird. <laughs> You're telling me. 
it was a fun time though although maybe that's just my nostalgia kicking in i just remember good old simpler times yeah it was all the end <laughs> you're old too don't, don't don't throw me under the old bus although though then again that was when back when we had pitbull guest verses and commenters saying stupid things like first now people still do that that's still around today mate yeah that's still around today unfortunately uh, the pickle rick meme only lasted a few weeks this joke just still won't this is the one joke that doesn't die it's basically like the simpsons of original youtube memes <laughs> Like it, at some, it was funny maybe a few years ago, but now it's just dragging on. But now that was like an old school YouTuber versus YouTuber fa fight, which I don't really see the appeal of this. I can understand like the rivalry because it's a pretty popular one. Uh, but obviously, today's day and age, if they somehow announce this, I might sound harsh with this. Would many people be as hyped? Again, probably not. Given the controversy around Tabuscus now. It would just feel awkward. But, uh... Yeah. I, I understand the legacy of it, but... I, I'm not... I probably explains why I don't see a lot of fan-made thumbnails for it anymore, because... Who wants it? The sad it is to say. The other YouTuber versus YouTuber fight, which... This was, a, this was actually quite popular in a, another Discord I was a part of. It was uh, Rooster Teeth versus Screw Attack. We did, in a way, kind of get that, to an extent, but it was more so as like a funny little skit. So, before, yeah, they merged and uh, Screw Attack just became Death Battle. To an extent, but well, I guess in that case, Rooster Teeth won. Yeah. But yeah. Um, they also kind of did a skit where all the people that are part of Rooster Teeth were in this big field and they all fought to the death. And the, if you watch it on certain channels, there's like a different sort of perspective like who comes in what and who makes fun of who and one person from the opposite team would be on the rival side to insult them my favorite one wait no no that that was uh the let's play stuff they were doing a parody of the anchorman like news team fight. yeah yeah i know but that was also like that also came around like and that's what people saying we finally got the fight <laughs> uh root because at, at the time oh, i thought you were i thought you were just referencing that and i'm just like that wasn't just no, Screw no, Attack no. and Rooster Teeth, in fact, Rooster no, Teeth went in that. This one does kind of have a legacy, because during, like, early Rooster Teeth days, I mean, it, it, same with, with Achievement Hunter in some sort of way, but Screw Attack and Rooster Teeth or Achievement Hunter were kind of rivals. They would take the piss out of each other, they would mock each other, in, like, a fun, friendly competition. And, yeah, people were making jokes about how they could all fight to the death in a death battle, and it's just like... On one hand, I would love to see this in the style of like, how they filmed it years ago with like that whole like parody thing. Because that was that is still hilarious. <laughs> like especially how it ends, like, oh shit, there's our moms! Everyone's running, but one person from like uh, I can't what group they were part of, but one person got left behind. <laughs> um I think that was Michael Morning Lindsay. Was that no, it was a, no, it was a guy that got left behind. Yeah, Michael, because he was mourning Lindsay. Was it? No, hold on. I swear it was like, so it was something from the Uber Axe and Nova uh, group. Like, one of them got left behind. What? Yeah, I think there was like a moment where he was trying to hold on to his friend and he just let him go. He was like, nope, I'm running. He was like, no! <laughs> Wait, we're not talking about the same videos, are we? We're probably not. <laughs> um, okay, because I'm thinking about the Anchorman parody. Yeah, I'm thinking of that. Where it was... Uh, was Where like, was Achievement Hunter, Screw Attack, Funhouse, uh, Creatures, and Kind of Funny? Yeah, Creatures, that was it. That was it. Yeah, it was someone from Creatures getting left behind. I'm pretty sure. I need to look that up now. God, I can't actually remember what that video was actually called now, so I'll look at that in my own time. Uh, I think I actually have a... Hang on. My favorite one was the Funhouse uh, perspective, because I, as weird as it is to say, I feel as though the Funhouse people were actually putting more effort into their acting for that skit. <laughs> Um, I mean, more so than the creatures did. Oh yeah, creatures, they just they were just there for the shit to deal with. That's very on par with them though, but... Yeah, Rooster Teeth and Screw Attack did somewhat have a rivalry, because before Rooster Teeth became, like, the big, like, company it is now, and it's somewhat in its troubling times as of now, 
yeah, there was like rivalry because you know they were both very similar. They both were like a nerdy group that got together. They both did like either video game content or animated content. In Screw Attack's case, it was with Death Battle. Uh, both shows did hit like a big win with whether it was Red vs. Blue or Death Battle, and they're still around. Uh, well, I guess in this case, if Death Battle still stays around before after Red vs. Blue finishes its final season, then does Death Battle win that? <laughs> I mean, Rooster Teeth still have other stuff. Yeah, I know, Hard to but, say. But when you think about, oh, what was the main thing that got these channels on the map? Uh, but yeah, so this rivalry I did kind of like. But I think similar to Tobuscus versus Brobus. Uh, not Brobus. I mean, that would be an interesting one. My money's on the guy with the sword. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like as though. Like, the reason, like, the rivalry, the main thing I was trying to get with the Red versus Blue Death Battle. The main thing that people bring up for these two companies is that Rooster Teeth hit it big with Red vs. Blue. Death Battle hit it big with, well, Death Battle. <laughs> so, yeah, there's still that somewhat rivalry, but I feel as though now in this day and age, that rivalry is long dead because, well, Screw Attack's dead. Uh, somewhat. It's just been rebranded to Death Battle, despite... Many yeah, because people... it was, like, the thing they were known for. Yeah, which yeah. is kind of sad because Stuttering Craig, um, who's apparently a bit controversial now, I've not seen some of his content. Um, but hold on, okay, that's a thing. So this is just a America thing that's bothering me. Like we we say it, Craig. I just and they say it, Craig. I just say it like how I hear it. It's like if someone introduces themselves as Craig, I'll just call him Craig. That's... All right, fair enough. Just, uh, but. Yeah, I, I just don't know. I think it's just awkward to kind of do that. If this was to become a death battle, like, it's just for shits and giggles. It'd be kind of awkward because it's sad it is to say not many people are familiar with, like, the newer Rooster Teeth crew or the death battle crew compared to, like, the old school, like, during the old school Rooster Teeth di days. Who do you remember? Gavin, Jeff, um, who else? Uh, oh, Bernie Burns. Like, so many are like, icon Michael... But now... Oh, Barbara as well. How did I forget Barbara? I mean, a lot of them are still around. A lot of them are still around, but they're not... Many of them especially have long left Rooster Teeth, and... I don't think they would want to... If they were asked to come in for a death battle just for the sake of this rivalry, it would be very awkward. Like, imagine trying to call up the original guys from Screw Attack today. Hey, do you want to come back and do an old school, like, death battle with these two? I don't think Craig would be up for it. So, I think that the problem with, like, these particular YouTubers, well, mostly, the, I think there's just so much controversy surrounding them that it would just feel awkward to do. You know, it would be like if they did, um, like, Kool-Aid Man versus Randy Savage the year he died. Just, that would just be way too awkward. Um... Uh, and even even I do not want to see PewDiePie versus Tabascus or Screw Attack versus Rooster Teeth, because especially if you Wait. don't have a familiar cast anymore, you have some people there, no doubt. Like Craig and Ben are still part of like the original Screw Attack channel, but I Chad. Think... Yeah, I said that. You said Craig. No, I said Chad. Did I say? Aye, aye, aye. But uh, yeah, just overall, I don't. These are like ones that I immediately think of when I think of YouTuber, uh, like death battles. Uh, I don't think they would do well this day and age. I'm just going to throw this out there. I've never heard anyone actually request this. No, I just saw it talked about. Like, this uh, wasn't like a heavy request. I just saw people just jokingly talk about it. So... Yeah, that was just it, really. Like, this is the one that came into mind for me. Yeah. Meanwhile, I have one that I actually could see happening. Yeah, so... Because it's a ones. big request, and there's a way they can actually make this work. Which is... AVGN versus Nostalgia Craig. Yeah, I think this is one that I could totally see happening. Yeah, and the main reason why this would actually work is because... well. How they would go about it is they just treat them like essentially cartoon characters. Like, because Doug Walker and Nostalgia Craig, different people. Mm. 
Like, they wouldn't, like, analyze what Doug can do. They would go over all the nostalgia creative videos and talk about all the ridiculous stuff he's done, like the fight he got into with uh, Dante Basco when talking about Avatar episodes. In which he jumps into comment section and gets ammunition by saying Joss Whedon is overweight, uh, overrated. <laughs> and that one has been like, when it came to YouTuber versus YouTuber, like that one's like the biggest one nowadays people think of. Yeah. The thing that's kind yeah. of crazy, uh, if you take in the context of the characters they play, you could argue these guys are universal. <laughs> Yeah. Also, it would probably be easy for them to like get in contact with it. Well, for you know, contact to be made because uh, AVGN got his start with Screw Attack back in the day, and they. I, I imagine some communication could happen with uh, Doug to make this a thing, but yeah. like Doug and I've AVGN been, I've been waiting to friends. like they still talk and they still do collabs. Uh, so I can totally right. see, especially Doug, like, Doug's always been down for, like, parodies of himself and stuff like that. Like, I can't remember what channel it was, um, but he was being interviewed and uh, the interviewer brought up, like, oh, there's this channel that does, like, a parody of you and takes the piss out of you. And he's like, oh, I know those guys, they're hilarious. And I think, I think there was, like, a skit him and a uh, video game nerd did do where he did die in some fight. So it's like, he doesn't seem to really care if his character dies. I mean, hell, he kills him more often than anyone else does. Uh, I actually do have a quote from uh, uh, Ben back from RCX. Uh, I mean, I would have to paraphrase because it's been so long. Fair enough. Right. And it's essentially just how they would have to just approach a YouTube fight in general. And yeah, it would be, you know, do it like how they did the likes of Chuck Norris and uh, uh, Macho Man. But it would have to come from the YouTubers uh, reaching out to them, essentially. Right. I mean, couldn't they just get feats from the YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, that's what they would have to do. But in terms of, like, okay, are we doing this? If Doug and... Uh, I, I don't know the actual guy's name. <laughs> uh, I think it's but the guy who does Angry Video Game Nerd. Isn't it like uh, Nick or something? If they... Yeah. If they contact Death Bell and just like, hey, we've joked about this before. I've we've seen it be requested. Like, we're down for doing it. Yeah. I, I would, I'm pretty sure. I mean, hell, I mean, Angry Video Game Nerd has a video game by at the time Screw Attack. I'm not sure if it's still on Steam, but yeah, you can totally play it, uh, and you could play as Dog Walker at the same time. <laughs> So it's like, hey, you've got the sprites. Yeah, so that's a very, very possible... Wait, actually, uh, I think there was even a, a fighting game where Nostalgia Critic was actually in it. It was like some Mortal Kombat parody. And yeah, Doug Walker was actually a character in that fighting game. So, you know, Doug is down for doing stupid shit. Yeah. I feel like that one, compared to my ones I brought, I feel like that one would be less controversial because I think no matter who wins that one, like, you know, people would just be like, eh, they died before. But, man, the lore of just going into both <laughs> the nostalgia credit world is weird. <laughs> like, he gets so... You can say the same thing about any lore we've gotten this year. Yeah, but, like, I don't think we've ever okay, had a character Sean. so excited for Christmas, he destroyed the universe. There's also okay. this time uh, he was the victim of uh, Shyamalan's uh, talent bending. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is actually a YouTube match I would totally be down for, just because it would be hilarious. I don't even love that they did, like, different styles. Like, one moment they're in live action, then they're, like, claymation or stuff like that. They could just go into sprites from the AVGN game. Yeah. I would love to even see their reaction to the fight. Can you, like, when um, they got Barbara and the actress for Tifa to react to the episode? They could do something like that. <laughs> Hopefully it would be its own video. Yeah, fine. You could like. hope. <laughs> that being said, I'm still proud of myself for making that an actual video. Yeah. It needed to be preserved. 
do that. I can't believe they were actually going to let that just be forgotten. <laughs> right? It's like, why? How often do we get the actors to react to their episodes? Also, like, look, Bob's reaction after, like, the snap. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to immortalize that. Yeah. Uh, is there another YouTuber versus YouTuber you want to bring? I felt like that was a big one. I thought you were going to start uh, off small and then go big. No, that's just like the one that I have. Yeah. So, Plus, there's the whole like, you know, how would they actually go about it and just like, you know, it coming about, like how they would just approach mm -hmm. the whole thing. Like, it, it's, it's got to come from the YouTubers first. It makes sense, yeah. It would be kind of weird if suddenly you wake up and suddenly you see yourself on a death battle thumbnail, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So it's different when it's fictional characters, but when you're actually using the real people, I think that's why they've, you know, ever since Justin Bieber versus Rebecca Black, they've just avoided doing, like, real life people like that. Well, yeah, and it would have to be YouTubers who, like, play characters. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah, it's like. That, that's why uh, the critic and the nerd are just great examples of that. Yeah, you know, some people still say like nostalgia critic is Doug Walker, but like no, no. If you were to see Doug Walker's like casual reviews and the, his show, completely different people. <laughs> Same with angry video game nerds. Like big shot people, he's not actually an angry bit of nerd when he plays video games. <laughs> yeah, like that's I'm all I really have to I'm say on it. Yeah, it's definitely a big one, and it's been around for such a long time. So, uh, I guess, Sean, you wanted to bring up uh, one, so let's hear it. Yeah, I had, I have one. Uh, I prepared this so long ago, but stuff happened with someone recently. But this is like the most recent YouTuber versus YouTuber one that I can think of. And I did want to briefly talk about it. It is Vanos versus Dream. Oh, God, I have heard things about dream that have left well, this match up with a i had this prepared stuff. before i i've had this prepared hand before all that stuff happened mind you uh, I had hey i'll once prepared this is the most recent one i can think of when it comes to youtuber versus youtuber is this one people have gone crazy on reddit about it on twitter about it well on youtube more so than twitter about it and i can understand the appeal of it i guess I think it's because, because they both do Vanos and oh, Dream sorry. are. Go ahead. I... Yeah, because they both have similar content and both have very similar like avatars. Well, like to the extent like you know they're represented by their mascots, and they're just known for playing like yeah, and that's video what games of... with friends. And that's why a lot of people would want think this is probably like the easiest one to do in a way because. Both these guys are characters in their videos. Like, it's not their actual likeness being involved in, like, any sort of way. So a yeah. lot of people think you could get away with it. I suppose that is but true. But also, like, especially... Yeah, especially with, like, Vanoss. Like, that, as you were saying, he's an OG gaming YouTuber. So it'd be interesting to see, like, just the analysis of, like, how old school his videos are and just the old videos. Like, how many times have people quoted a Vanoss video? That is true. He is like, and the thing that's kind of fun, that's kind of what people say because before the Dream stuff came out, Dream wasn't really that quoted. Yeah. He was more so kind of like an end joke. Like, you know, people would make yeah, fun of him and... because of his, like, something he did in a video, whereas Vanos has so many, like, quotes that people still use. But then when the, the virus pandemic happened, era of YouTube, I, I call it. A dream that's when dream himself exploded in popularity yeah like it is insane with his like especially like his manhunt series those are insanely popular to where he's collabed with as we've mentioned before mr beast multiple times and while he did have a rivalry with technoblade a lot of people don't want dream versus technoblade because that actually got settled yeah plus given what happened with technoblade i think it would come out as poor taste right yeah yeah, but I think a lot of people would want these two because they, they're they in different, like, medias for games for their characters' abilities. So it'd be a clash of interesting styles. And not only could you argue different advantages for each other, but it'd be fun 
like in any like animation style, I think. Yeah, I, f I can see the appeal of this. I think why I'm not as familiar with it or as invested like I was with Tabuskus versus PewDiePie, Rooster Teeth versus Screw Attack is because obviously I never grew up with Dream. I grew up with like more OG people. Like, yeah, Vanos is OG. Oh, yeah, I know of him. Dream, I only know. I'm back. Hi, back. I'm Bill. Uh, I only know of Dream through controversy. Which that's why I'm not as invested in this match. Similar to why I was invested in like Tabuskus versus PewDiePie. I mean, PewDiePie versus Tabuskus now I'm not invested in because of controversy. Well, Dream only found himself in hot water like recently. But I know this matchup was like, like a big popular one before all the stuff dropped with Dream. Yeah. I think that could actually. Is that a good segue to go into our, our final comments on this whole topic? I mean, we have been talking about this for an hour. Well, I, would also, I would like to propose that if the fans want to see a sequel uh, kind of topic to this, because I thought of like a certain type of thing that kind of like conflicts with this whole idea of YouTuber versus YouTuber, uh, which again, I'm only offering as a, like a sequel topic if people want us to talk about it. And that's VTubers in Death Battle, maybe? Yeah, do you know what that is? Like, that's a whole other category. Yeah, oh, there's, there's one person I did watch I for think, a little bit because she's adorable. And I think my... Father. I think my thoughts would be pretty much the same. I do uh, know... Give me an excuse to talk about Taka again, though. Yeah, like, the only YouTuber, like, VTuber I know... Well, I mean, they're not pop... Well, this person's not popular for being a VTuber. Savorvan... He, his avatar he does use as a like a VTuber like avatar for his streams, and he has talked about yeah, maybe and that's what I'm saying. making him into a comic series. I think, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if people want to see us talk about like VTubers themselves in a show like Death Battle, that could be a separate topic. The only ones that I can really think of that even has like I mentioned Gara, oh, um, or how I pronounce her name, like the Shark Girl. Apparently, she's getting her own anime, mm -hmm. so it's like. Yeah, and, and like VTubing nowadays has become a lot more popular. So much so that stuff like uh, Amy Lee, Kagi Films, Takahata have also done VTubing stuff. Oh, Iron Mouse got nominated for the VGAs just this year alone, just to show how insanely popular VTubing has become. Yeah, but let's be real. If a male one falls over, does anyone care? Wait, what? In the VTubing world, you'll be surprised. Wait, hold on, I didn't hear what Sorry, was I was. Oh, I was trying to make a... Uh, Taka joke from one of the TFS commentaries. Oh, okay. I, I don't watch that commentary. Oh, wait, no, it was... No, it was Kaiser. Right, okay. Um, Those are great, by the way. I, I'll probably give them a watch at some point. So, I guess that's but a yeah. good segue into think... our final thoughts on this topic. Unless there was something more you wanted to add, Sean. I, I was about to go into my, oh, my final thoughts. Yeah, sure. Because uh, I was gonna try to be rapid fire with everything i had today for this topic because of how long we've been going on oh don't worry. i get these out really quickly uh, you know me i think overall it's just the concept could be there if it's like a character like with the whole van stream and angry video game nerd versus nostalgia critic it, it could work easier but trying to get like more irl personal stuff in there might be a red flag Honestly, that's kind of a good segue into what my final thoughts are. These fights in particular, which some of them are popular, some of them are old school, some of them are more current. It really depends on the YouTubers, really. Like, would I want to see Nostalgia Critic versus Angry Video Game Nerd? Sure. Let's say that fight was announced, though, and something controversial. I mean, stuff has come out that's controversial, but they've long been, like, addressed and done. But stuff like with Dream, like, he's had, like, I don't want to say what it is. And I'm very sad how often we talk about a YouTuber that has this concept going around about them. But yeah, Dream might have a Seth the Programmer type of situation. Apparently it's still in development, so who knows what it is about that. Yeah, and again, this was the, this was done like after we discussed wanting to do YouTuber versus YouTuber. Um, yeah. Which sucks for timing on my end. I'm cursed. Yep. That's the thing as well, like. If they did do this fight, it would just feel like a spite fight after it, because people would root for Vanos, but if the stuff about Dream people is People were rooting true, for Vanos even before all that, oddly enough. Yeah, I think that was like, because old generation stuff like that, but I think that's yeah. my final say, like, you know, the main question we ask, 
would we want to see a YouTuber versus a YouTuber? And I think similar to the question with, like, do hate deserve to be shamed? Yes, depending on context. Because if it's just, if something comes out of the YouTuber, I don't see people really wanting to watch it. Like, let's say, for instance, they did this fight and Dream won, and then all that stuff that came out by him turned out to be true. Like, how pissed do you think people would be? That's a fair point. Hmm. Like, stuff like, you know, with, like, Screw Attack versus Rooster Teeth, I think people wouldn't be into that anymore because, well, a lot of the OGs have left, so it'll be kind of weird to do now. Uh... Whereas this one, I think there's just too much controversy around one person that it would just be a red flag. But, uh, I can understand that. But, uh, yeah, so by popular votes by people, that's our uh, YouTube versus YouTube. Oh, wait, hold on. Do you guys have any final says, or are we good? I've said mine. I gave my, I gave my final thoughts. Yeah, right. So, yeah, Bill, that was all voted by you. Now then, uh, this is technically our last third topic talking about a concept the next two third topics are going to be lads debates and i will announce this early yes our finale this year will also be live like usual and i'm not going to announce the third to uh the lads debate for that but i will announce the next one coming out next week which funny enough features a dc character but i'm doing this in a different way so this year or this month, in fact, it has been one year now since Kevin Conroy has passed away. And the reason we want to do this matchup is because I was originally wanting to do this before his passing. But unfortunately, just circumstances, when I came up with this idea a few months later, he passed away. So with that said, the next lads debate, as a tribute to the legend himself, we're doing the animated series Batman versus Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. Still fight. Pretty much. Well, me and when but this more than that, about, when this idea came out, Bill and I talked about this because obviously it's completely one-sided if you use base. So technically speaking, we are gonna be doing composite Sam Fisher. Yeah. Versus the animated series Batman, because even composite Sam Fisher would be annihilated by the comic book Batman. But also, I wanted to do a matchup that's a tribute to Kevin Conroy. Yes, Kevin Conroy's voiced Batman in different medias, but what do we know of him mostly? The animated series Batman. So, we want to do this, and regardless of whoever wins it, I just want to do a tribute to him. A man that made my childhood all that more brighter, ironically playing a dark knight. So stick around for that, and as for the finale lads debate, is a topic Sean's wanted to do. We won't say what the matchup have... is, but let's just say... You guys are going to have to wait for, as guess what, just like last year's finale, I have a trailer for that one. The only thing I will hint <laughs> so about can... that is it's a fighting game, but it's a fighting game with characters that weren't originally from fighting games. So, that is your hint for the finale of Lads Debate. So, with all that said and done, uh, what did you think of Rick and Morty versus... Rick versus the Doctor? Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> <laughs> it's Rick versus the Doctor. What did you think of Rick versus the Doctor? And what do you think... I don't know why I'm talking like the guy from Star Trek. And what did you think about the next time, which is Goku versus Superman? And what do you think about the concept of YouTubers versus YouTubers? And are there any YouTuber death battles you'd want to see? With all that said and done, thank you all so much for watching and stick around. We'll have more content like in the future. Farewell, everybody.